Hey guys, and welcome back to Undertale. So, let's continue forward. Oh, right. Right. I forgot. My boyfriend told me to call our goat mom. Say hello. Dialing. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hehe. <laughs> Click. And it seemed that we had more about yourself. Okay. Dialing. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. Alright. So let's call her mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me... Mom? And... Hold up. Alright guys, sorry about that. I realized that, um... My volume was probably a little bit too loud. Huh. <laughs> Anyways. Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me... Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. Alright, and then we had one more. Flirt. Oh! <laughs> huh? Oh! <laughs> How adorable! I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Click. Oh, how cute! Alright. Let's go up here. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Alright, let's go check that out. Hello! Spider bake sale! All proceeds go to real spiders. Leaves seven gold in the web? What? I'm confused. Oh! I only have eight... Yeah, I only have eight. So... I suppose let's do this one. Yeah! Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Nice. Got a spider donut. And hello, Froggit. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. Well, what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Aw, you guys are cute. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely, you know by now, a, ye or a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's... It's... Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Okay, ring. Hello? I just realized that it's been a- or it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will s or you will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Oh gosh. Oh hello, Lukes. I don't want to fight you. Uh, don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. Oh gosh. Oh god. Ugh. Gnashes its teeth. Ugh. We are going to spare you. Hello, sir. Okay, now what's this? It's just one switch. Okay. Is there now? Oh, hello. Uh, I will not pick on you. I promise. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Alright. Let's spare you. And we got five more gold. Oh. Can I go down here? Ah. Okay. This makes more sense, I think. Will I fall down? No. Oh! 
What are you? A vegetoid? Oh, goodness. Uh, let's talk? Plants can't talk, dummy. Oh. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Crap. Let's dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, 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 no, I want it! Vegetoid's here for your health. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, stop it! Uh, give a mysterious smile. Uh, dinner? Eat your greens. Oh shit! Uh, okay. Spare you. Damn it! Damn it! Already? Are you kidding? <sighs> I don't. Mmm. Spare you. Mmm. Cha cha cha. Oh. That's. That's all you do? Okay. Alright. That works for me, I guess. Alright. Middle one then. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. Boop. And... We should be good. Oh! That was close. It's a switch. Press it? No. Hold up. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Huh. Alright, let's press it. Nothing happened. Dang it. It's a switch! Press it! Nothing happened. Oh god. No, stop it! I don't want to fight you! Stop! Spare you. Hello. Yeah! I danced with you. Alright. Now we leave. And it's a switch! Press it? Yeah! Nothing happened. Alright. Uh... Hello! Thank you! Let's go down here. Let's not talk to that one again. If you can read this, press the blue switch. What do you mean, press the blue switch? Oh, Jesus Christ! No! <laughs> you know what? There. I needed that. Farm locally, very locally. Oh, God! Oh god. I I suck at this. Dinner. Pat your stomach. Eat your greens. Ah. No. Mm. Dinner. Please. Oh Jesus. Oh. Huh. Smells like steamed carrots and peas. Dinner. Pat your stomach. Come on. Leave me alone! Oh god! Cackle softly. Ugh. Let's spare one of you guys. Okay. Oh fuck. Uh, shoot! Dang it! <laughs> I'm using up so much, and I don't freaking mean to. No! Leave me alone! <laughs> he is here for my health. Pat your stomach, and he is offering some amazing food. Oh shit! Come on! Give it to me! Eat your greens! I want to, please give it here! Haha! -ha. Okay, now I can spare you. Oh gosh. What? Blue switch? Ah! You hear a clicking sound. Yeah! I'm smart. Oh, Jesus Christ. Again? Leave me alone. Well, swing your arms, baby. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. 
despair. Okay, you're good now. And what does the sign say? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, if you say so. It's a switch. Press it. Yeah! You hear a clicking sound. And... There has to be another sign in here, right? Yes. No! Stop it! Ugh. So many! Swing your arms, baby! Okay, boop, 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 boop. And spare. Okay, if you can read this, press the green switch. Green? Ah, damn it! Ugh. Oh, this is frustrating. Very frustrating. Okay. Up. No! Damn it! Decided to pick on me! That's not right! Don't pick on! Please don't pick on me, he says. Owie! Owie! Why you hurt me? Uh, fine. Spare you. Quit staring at me, he says. Oh gosh. Ah, staring right through you. I'm not gonna pick on you. I promise, buddy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, staring right through you. Uh, spare. Ten gold, yeah. Okay, please leave me alone. It's a switch. Press it? Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Please, 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 please. Okay. Uh, did I... Did I do it? Oh dear! That took longer than I thought it would. Sorry, Toriel. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, there's a save point. Yay, seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Yeah, we're gonna save. But before we go into Toriel's house, we're gonna go down here. Because we have this way to look through. Oh, hello. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask why or what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Okay, let's look. Oh. You found the toy knife. Thank you. Okay, let's... Uh... Info. Toy knife. Weapon at three made of plastic a rarity nowadays. You know, I don't need it. I don't need a weapon. Some armor would be nice, but I don't need a weapon. Psh. F that, man. Weapons are for losers. Seeing such a cute, tidy house. Let's go in. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Yes? This is it. Oh, and she holds my hand. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, she's petting my little head. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I could sleep. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, goodness. This is really cute. Oh, my poor little heart. <laughs> uh, I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay, goat mom. I'm sorry. Wait, I wonder what will happen. Dialing. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? 
click. Okay, I guess that's it. Let's take a look down here some more. Hmm, is this Toriel's room? I think so. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Sure, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> Fucking great. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Okay. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> She's so scandalous. <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. Yes, because all they want are hugs. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Yes, definitely is. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Sweet snails. Ooh, it's this. Room under reservation er, renovations. Bleh. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Oh, no. Don't tell me. I think I know what that is. Oh gosh, let's look at the blah, 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 this bookshelf. These books are worn, they must have been read many times. Oh, she has a cute little house. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Apparently so. The ends of these tools have been filed down to make them safer. Aww, cute. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Oh, Jesus. She makes everything like childproof. This is adorable. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I... Can I take it? No? Okay. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. No, go, Mom! Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Probably. Let's go talk to her. Hello, goat Mom. Up already, I see. Um... I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared as a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. <laughs> I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to Exit the Ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Goat mom, come back. Goat mom, are you in your room? Goat mom. No, you're not. You must be downstairs then. Unless you're in here. Nope. Alright. You are definitely downstairs then. Downstairs. Hello, Goat Mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Instead of us, er, whoops, not instead. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, Goat Mom, no! No! Every human that falls down here may and meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, 
They... Asgore... will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! Goat Mom! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No! Come back! You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no! Goat Mom! Toriel blocks the way. Uh, let's, let's talk it out. You can think of any conversation topics. Oh gosh! Ow! No! Toriel is acting aloof. Let's talk. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh gosh! Uh, Toriel looks through you. Talk again. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. No! Ah! You're trying so hard! Toriel takes a deep breath. Ironically, talking does- Ah, oh, fuck. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Toriel prepares a magical- Magical attack. Oh no! No, please! No, 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 no! Oh! Looks through you. I am so gonna die. Oh no. Ouch. He's acting aloof. Can I check you? Knows best for you. Oh. You're trying so hard not to hit me. I love you. Toriel. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand still. Just stand still. Looks through you. Let's talk. What if I just... Yeah. If I just stand still, she's not gonna hurt me. I love you, Toriel. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Toriel. She looks through you. Come on. Please. Please let this be the answer. Please, please, please. It said that she was... Uh, wait. Oh, I think it said she was acting aloof again. I don't know, man. Oh no! What am I doing? <laughs> Toriel takes a deep breath. Oh, come on! Can I spare you? Oh, maybe that's how I do it. Okay. Toriel is acting aloof. Let me spare you. I don't want to fight, Goat Mom. I don't want to fight. Please. Goat Mom. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Huh? No! Goat Mom. Oh, she's trying so hard. She's trying so hard. What are you doing? I, I don't want to fight! I don't want to fight you! Attack or run away! No! No, I'm not! I, I don't... I don't want to do either! What are you proving this way? That I don't want to fight you! That I'm strong enough not to kill people! <laughs> fight me or leave! No! No, I refuse! I mean... Things seem to be progressing, so I think this is the way to do it. Stop it. No, I'm not going to stop, because it's obvious that you don't want to hurt me. I don't want to hurt you. Stop looking at me that way. No. Goat Mom. Toriel looks through you. Go away. No. Goat Mom, please. <laughs> Oh no, is it back to this again? Come on. I'm just I'm just not gonna move at all. No moving. No moving. Just absolutely no moving. I know you want to go home, but Spare. But please go upstairs now. Spare. I promise I will take good care of you here. I'm sorry, goat mom. I know we do not have much, but... We could have a good life here. 
Why are you making this so difficult? I'm sorry. Please go upstairs. Uh-uh. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even, or I cannot save even a single child. I'm sorry, Goat Mom. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Oh, Toriel! If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, Toriel! I love you! Oh. Goodbye, my child. Oh, <laughs> My poor little heart. <sighs> My heart, you guys. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> Toriel, I'm gonna be leaving you for amp. Hi. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the price of this world's future. Or the, not the price, the prince. Ah, I'm not reading it right. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't... <clears throat> regicide. This is so much more interesting. Uh... Uh, your... Your face. Your face is ugly. Go away, Flowey. No one likes you. See ya, Flowey. Wow. I was reading too fast for my own good, apparently. Oh, Undertale! Yay! By Toby Fox. Thanks, Toby! This is a great game so far. Okay. I know this episode is going to be a bit longer than the last one, because I'm waiting to get to a save point. Ugh! <sighs> what? Ah! No! No, 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 no! I'm just gonna keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep walking! Uh, I, 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 I can't move. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, please! I, I don't want to fight. Human. Don't you know? How to greet a new pal? What? Turn around and shake my hand. Uh... <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. <laughs> oh god. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Okay. Quick, behind the conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> what a conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know. S Wait. <clears throat> I I've been trying to practice a voice 
but I I haven't gotten one yet. Um. <laughs> uh. You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzle. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Mm, staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and doondoggle. Or boon boondoggle. Boondoggle? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't read, apparently. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles as for your work, but a little more. Backbone into it. <laughs> These two are fucking hilarious. I love them. Okay, you can come out now. Thanks, Sans. You want to get going? He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well? Oh, okay. So he just says the same thing. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Just a conveniently sheep eh, just a conveniently shaped lamp. Yes, it sure is. What about those rocks up there? Something special? No. Okay. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Okay. <gasps> Save point! The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Alright, guys. So... That is all the time that I have for this episode, and next episode we will go ahead and see what that box is all about. So, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye